2023 has been a banner year for fear-mongering, AI doomerism, and muckraking by engineers who think they have finally solved accounting. Huzzah! You did it! Let me be the first to welcome you to the esteemed society of engineers who think they've solved for accounting. Look around you. There's a lot of them. And it all makes it hard to know who to trust, right? What's coming next? Well, I have good news, my friends. We pretty much know what's coming next at this point. So trust me. Trust, trust me. Because I built AI apps, I consult with AI companies, I'm an actual accounting mm. professional, and I know what the f I'm saying. So let's get on with it. The four horsemen of the AI accounting apocalypse. What the next couple years will look like, because honestly, we've predicted everything correctly today, and I am tired of the confusion. Horse one, chatting with stuff. Like it or not, people are gonna stick a chat interface onto, onto just about everything. The accounting ledger? You betcha. Thanks, digits. And soon into it, your practice management system. It's coming. And while chatting with your practice management system may not sound like a good time to a big brain power user, chat does do one thing really well. It makes it easier for non-power users to just explain what they're trying to do. And it's the first step towards software that you just talk with. You know when you hop into a fancy American-made automobile and you see a shocking field of chrome buttons, knobs, and switches, like Mission Control just threw up on your dashboard. This is what today's software is going to feel like soon. All these menus and submenus and check boxes. That stuff's either gonna go away or at least be drastically reduced because just telling you what I want is easier. Now, don't believe me? The chat assistant that's now built into Windows and early access can change your system settings. Pop! Quiz time. How do you enable night mode on Windows? Time's up. You tell the chat assistant to enable night mode. That's what you do. It's not what you do now, but it's what you'll do soon. And it's that ease of use that will begin creeping its way into all of the tools that we use. Now, is it hard to imagine a future where I chat my way through closing a set of books? Today, yes, but we're gonna start working that way. And what'll make it actually practical is the second horse, actually chatting with it, like this. Hello. Hello to you too. It's so nice to meet you. How's your day going so far? It's going all right, thank you. Just recording some vids. Recording vids, huh? Are you in an industry where that's a regular okay. part of the work okay. day? Or is it? Right now we're talking to most of these systems via a chat box, typing things in, using using this, typing the keyboard, one little word at a time. But when I get home at the end of the day and I talk with my wife, I use this, my mouth. It makes words and is one of several API-like interfaces we use to exchange information. Hmm. But historically, we haven't used voice with computer stuff because how do you go into settings and enable dark mode via voice, right? Well, buddy, when functions can be done semantically, that is just describing them, just using regular old words, voice works pretty darn good. Isn't that right, Pi? Voice activated computing interfaces have a lot of promise, but they're not quite at the point where they can handle a lot of the nuance that we can with a physical keyboard. It's amazing how much we can accomplish by pressing just a few keys, okay. right? Yep, yep, okay, got it. Okay, talk to you later. But how is all of this gonna click around my screen and tippy tap into my software? There's an AI for that as well. It's the third horse, agents. Agents can see everything on your computer the exact same way an actual person can. It can click, it can type, it can see, it can load its brain with all the help documentation you refuse to read. And the best example we have of this tech today is an app called HyperWrite, specifically their personal assistant. It's a Chrome extension that you can chat with just like ChatGPT. You tell it to do something in your browser. It opens a new Chrome window and tries to knock out that task in the background. And like most AI things, it's pretty good, except for when it sucks. But accounting specific applications of this tech, the version that'll grab a bank statement and knock out a bank wreck in QuickBooks, the desktop agent that understands how your stanky old tax software works, this stuff is going to make you wildly productive. And it'll be super accessible because you'll just shout at it to do your bidding until it understands. It's like an intern that can't go and take a signing bonus from LinkedIn. And it'll be good, but it'll only ever be as good as our fourth horse, you. You, that's right. You're gonna be the one to end the profession yourself, or rather define what the next version of this profession looks like. Stuff is changing and it's about to get weird, like like really weird. Like your neighbor falling in love with a chatbot weird. And you will decide to either displace the way things have been done or be displaced. And keeping on top of things, no matter how weird they get, will mean leaning into three things. One, you gotta learn. 
Stuff is changing, it's changing fast, and it requires potentially a level of investment in learning and tech that you've never made before. Open your mind to it because there's great opportunity to come from change. To specific expertise. ChatGPT is a great example of a general tool, but it falters the more specific you get. It's simultaneously the smartest friend you have, while not being as smart as any of your friends are at their actual jobs. And it'll get smarter over time. But as we discussed recently on this channel, AI is a long ways from ever being authoritative. Somebody has to back up its claims to verify what it produces and who is better suited for this than the verifiers of things, the attesters of reality, accountants. The profession was literally built on gatekeeping. Financial statements? Uh, not until an accountant's blessed it. Cow emissions melting the ice caps? I know, we'll get the accountants to issue a report for it. We'll call it ESG. Somebody still needs to sign on the dotted line, but take care to ensure that your expertise is specific, not general. And third, Solve for pains. People employ accountants to solve their pains. This framing to me is much easier than the value discussion. People assign value to things at different levels. How much value does this thing have? The easier question to me is how much does it hurt? Does it keep them up at night? How many people do they have to employ to solve this problem? And while it seems like the work we do could certainly change, is it realistic to think that entrepreneurs won't still have pains related to accounting and tax compliance? Is the Pope Catholic? He is, he most certainly is. He's actually extremely Catholic. As long as entrepreneurs are blocked by these pains, there's gonna be an abundance of work for us to do. It doesn't feel like that's going away anytime soon. In fact, if you can be the one to learn AI and put it to work for your clients, that's a golden opportunity because who's gonna put the AI implementer out of work, right? And it goes without saying that in a time of change like this, it gets really hard to decide what software to use when everything is in flux, which is what makes this week's sponsor Copilot such a great option. Roll the music. Concerned about AI upsetting your workflows? Afraid you're gonna train a pile of clients on a new practice management system, only for some AI rocket ship enabled version to come out the next year and have to start over again from square one. Gang, this is why Copilot's approach, a portal platform feels future safe. It's a system that lets you plug and play external apps to your heart's content. So if mega bookkeeping agent whatever comes out tomorrow and changes the world, you can integrate it straight into the platform yourself. That's right, this isn't your mother's all-in-one solution. It's a platform that gives you the tools you need to collab with clients and the flexibility to pull in whatever other external tools you need to get the job done. So get to future proof in that client portal today by learning more about Copilot. Link in the video description. Whew! Okay, so lots of misinformation out there about AI. These four horses, really the three, chat, voice, and agents, are gonna be the main drivers of tech over the next two years. And we all have a massive opportunity to be the ones to not only leverage it in our firms, but turn our clients onto it. Just like we did the transition to the cloud. AI is going to create some headaches in society. There's gonna be some messy issues, but when it comes to how we get our work done and support our clients, just like it's always been, you're only at risk if you go hide under a rock. So thanks to you for being here as we chart the path to what accounting looks like next together.